All right, DJs, here we go. This is the Chave Geyser RGB vacuum test. We have our vacuum gauge right here. I will try to keep a shadow on it so that way we can keep reading it while it's going on. Unit is all warmed up, even though it's only 45 degrees out today. Yay. All right, here we go. We're going to give this a quick test. See what happens. All right, I'm going to get a second to warm back up. It takes, you know, a little bit out here in the cold. And we'll hit it again and see exactly what happens. All right, I don't see any movement on the needle at all. Um, and I was able to put my... Yes, I did this. I went and put my mouth on the bottle without any fluid in it. was able to pressurize it up to 4 PSI myself, just from lung pressure. So I don't see this needle moving at all. I'm pretty sure there's no vacuum or pressure inside this bottle. Now, also, under further investigation, right here, see how this turns but this doesn't? That's because there's a nut inside there. This free wheels right there. It's another point that could leak, but no, I won't seal it up. And I bet you that is actually the thing that's keeping the uh, pressure or vacuum from being too much inside the bottle. And I'm going to keep going ahead with uh, the silicon filled up inside my units. Um, I, I just don't see that that's a problem. I think it's an oversight by Chauvet. I think they did a poor job on that part. So, all right. Well, practice and enjoy.